Today we're going to jump right into our subject matter, which is logic. And we're going to look at really three concepts, logic, reason, and argument. And it's going to help clarify what it is that we're talking about during the course of the semester. I think a good way of getting started is to spend a couple of minutes to think about what logic is. Logic is a pretty commonly used word. I'm sure all of you have used it. And if we see how it's used in English, I think that's going to help us better define the subject matter that we're trying to, uh, that we're addressing, and learn what it is that we're trying to learn in the course of this uh, semester. And we can think of certain contexts in which logic is used. Here's one of them. Imagine you have a friend who just can't help spending his money. No matter what, if he has a few bucks in his pocket, goes out and spend it. And you can imagine that this person really does it to his own detriment, and you might say, knowing that he's just spent his last dollar, we just could not follow the logic of wasting his last dollar when his rent was coming due. Imagine he's about to get evicted or eviction procedures are going to get started. Think of a slightly different context in which the word logic might come up. I'm sure you've known or heard about or at least read about someone who has uh, gotten pregnant uh, by accident or in an unwanted set of circumstances and makes a decision, maybe sometimes a rash decision, about having abortion or about not having an abortion. Now imagine someone who's made a decision not to have abortion. And you might say in response to that, there was not much logic in her decision against having an abortion. You might say that after having a somewhat lengthy discussion with her about this decision. Finally, another context in which you might hear the word logic used is one like the following. And this could be something that you've heard in your favorite religious institution, be it a synagogue, a church, or a mosque. And by the way, I should note, I do always do this so I don't insult any students nor show any preference uh, in terms of when the religions got started. That is, uh, Judaism was the first one to be founded, Christianity thereafter, and Islam thereafter. So please don't take offense by it. But you can imagine being in, one su in such an institution and the clergyman there, the rabbi, the priest, minister, the imam, says something like, the logic of believing that God exists cannot be challenged. Now notice, logic's used a little bit differently in these three contexts, but there is a commonality to them. And the way to really get started, the way for us to hone in on the subject matter that we're addressing, that is logic, is to have you sit down and spend a few minutes. I want you to take about five minutes. And I want you to actually pick up a pen and write down your thoughts. That is, uh, you could write them on a, on a computer also. Uh, a typewriter, I don't think many, very many of you have. Some of you might not even know really what a typewriter is. but but in either of these ways, whatever you find comfortable, paper and pencil might be the best, or paper and pen might be the best way, but what is your definition? How would you explain logic if somebody asks you, what is it? What is it that you study? What is this logic stuff? And I think in the process, I'd like you also, since you're spending a few, other, a few extra minutes on it, try to hone in on what is it that you're hoping to learn from the course. And just to give you a few examples, something that you learn from a course is gain a new skill. You know, you know, in a math course, sometimes you learn how to do a new set of problems. Sometimes you improve a skill you have. If you're taking an art, co uh, an art course, a hands-on art course, a painting course, a sculpture course, you might be a pretty good painter or a pretty good sculptor, but you improve your skill by practicing it. And sometimes you Take a course because it's something that you know something that you don't know very much about, but you would like to get more information and find out about it and gain some more information or facts about it. And when you're thinking about what you're hoping to learn from this course, notice those are things that oftentimes you do learn from this course, 
with the ideas I want you to think about how this kind of course would help you in, in your college, in your academic studies, in your career, or the current job that you have, or the job that you want to pursue, and in life in general. How should the skill, the information, or whatever it is that you're hoping to learn from this course help you? Now what I'd like you to do is take out a piece of paper, take out your computer, and spend the next five minutes answering these questions, trying to explain and define logic. Thinking really about what you're hoping, what you want to gain from this course and how, and presumably what you want to gain from the course is something that should be helping you either in your academic life, in your job, in your, in your, in your work, in your career, or just in life in general.